Okay, I'm now on the Rate Experiments tab of the same simulation. So you can see that the setup is really the, the same type of thing. Actually, i got to hit Reset All here. Uh, so it's, it's a lot like the many collisions. So I like that strip recorder. Um, you can select a, a reaction, but uh, the one that we'll use for your experiment is this Design Your Own. And I just wanted to kind of show you how this, this works. So when I click Design Your Own, I get an ability to choose like my initial, my, my reactant energy situation. I get to choose then essentially the activation energy. And then I get to choose the energy of the products. So these are some of the things that we're going to uh, play with uh, and then make some observations on, on the reactions. So I just want to give you an example of, of one of the experiments that, that we want to do. So I'm going to put to where the energy of the two, I grab this about right, there we go, where the reactants and the products are about the same. And then what I want to do is grab this so that it's a high activation energy, high activation energy. And then I've got A's and then the BC's. So I'm going to put in oh, 20 of those. And I'm going to put in 20 of those. And then I'm going to begin my experiment. So those 20 are placed in the system. Now notice that I wouldn't expect a lot of reaction right away because my total average energy is actually below the activation energy. And so if I look at my current amounts, I can see, well, one reacted, but it, not much has changed. So another one reacted, so I'm at 18 and 2. So even though the energies of these two systems are the same, reactants and products, and over the course of time, if I were to let this run, you eventually would equilibrate out. I should see the same number on each side, but this would probably take a while. So I could raise the temperature and get that over that activation energy. And notice how that really has changed now. And it actually went by it, but then it should balance back out to something like that. Okay. Now, I want to end this experiment. But notice you can go back here, and then you can zoom in, and notice that you can actually get a sense on the timing that it took. So I started with 20 and 20. My average energy was, was down here. And what I'm going to do is kind of go back to that same type of thing when I set this up. Um, but what I want to do is change this activation energy. Okay. So I'm going to reset this. So I'm going to go back to where we were. I'm going to go design my own experiment. I want to have that strip chart. And then I'm going to move this activation energy to be very low. So it's actually below the total, en total average energy available. So if I go back here and do 20 and 20, like I did before, and hit begin experiment and if I watch my essentially my concentrations and I can zoom out on this if you notice the time on the previous one the time on the previous one to get to somewhat of a steady state was was much longer than in this situation okay so that's some of the techniques that you'll use um, to answer then some of the questions or activities that I pose um, in the laboratory description. I hope you have fun with this, this lab. I, I really enjoy these, these simulations. Um, they're not completely accurate, obviously. We're not working in three dimensions. Um, but it's, they're, they're, they're really good. I really like them. So.